Tests were carried out to familiarize drivers with the system. Tankers were driven with maximum tire pressures. Once the vehicle was bogged, the CTI system was used to lower tire pressures. When setting the pressure required, turn both dials to low. The indicator light will show deflate and the gauge will show the reduction in tire pressures. Reverse the vehicle for another attempt using your existing wheel tracks. This gives the system time to adjust to the new tire pressures. Wait until the required pressures are reached before attempting the obstacle. The recommended pressures in sand are 44 psi for both the front and rear tires. However, for short periods in extreme situations, you may go as low as 40 psi at the front and 30 psi for the rear tires. These are the lowest tire pressures allowed by the system. Once you negotiate the obstacle, return to the recommended pressures. In this situation, the sand was loose and fine and the dune steep. We used four-wheel drive low and third gear for the required momentum. On occasion, some vehicles required a gear change to second to continue. When using four-wheel drive, turn on both the four-wheel drive and the centre diff lock switches. When nothing seems to work and the sand hill cannot be negotiated, as a last resort, wet the track. A firm base will provide better traction, with the added benefit that using your water will lighten the load. In these test conditions, we set out to get the vehicle bogged and then use the CTI system. In normal use, as the driver usually has an idea of the conditions ahead, he can set the tyre pressures beforehand. The system will adjust to the new setting while driving to the site, saving time and reducing damage to the track and the vehicle. Further trials were carried out in steep and rocky terrain. Some tankers had maximum tyre pressure while other tankers had pressures set at 60 psi at the front with 50 psi at the rear and others as low as 50 psi at the front and as low as 45 psi at the rear. All trucks used the lowest gears for both climbing and descending. The lower pressures worked very well, benefiting traction, reducing potential damage to the truck and significantly reducing damage to the tracks. In rocky terrain, Chet Klein from Air CTI suggests 60 to 65 psi in the front and 50 in the rear. If the truck is empty, you may reduce the all-round tyre pressure to 44 psi. If you are uncertain of which line to follow when negotiating an obstacle, Stop and consider the alternatives. If you feel it's necessary, walk the route. The correct tyre pressures 
depend upon several conditions. An empty truck needs less tyre pressure than a full one. Use lower pressures at slower speeds, higher pressures at higher speeds. The rougher the road, the slower and lower the tyre pressures. When you require maximum traction, apply the lowest pressure you are willing to use.